Deputies in Ottawa County are still trying to sort out what happened after a man accused of pulling a gun on a woman refused to come out of his apartment with his three children on Monday. 33-year-old Maurice Butler is charged with resisting and obstructing a police officer. He's currently out on a personal recognizance bond while detectives determine if the original incident involving the gun occurred. But at the time of the call, deputies thought that they had a man holding three children hostage with a gun. The Sheriff's Department's crisis negotiation team is credited with convincing Butler to send the kids out and then to give himself up. News 8's Joe Lafergie talked to a member of the team about their approach to making sure that everyone gets out okay. Patience, time, and trust are three keys to making negotiations a success. When you first arrive on scene, you have no idea if you're going to be there for a half hour or if you're going to be there for 18 hours. So you just have no idea what you're... Um, what you're in for? That was a case on August 11th of last year. Kenneth Pagel barricades himself in a Spring Lake home with a hostage. Neighbors are told to shelter in place. The hostage is released about four hours later, but the standoff would continue another 14 hours as Ottawa County Sheriff's Department crisis negotiation team members tried talking the man into surrendering over the phone. Detective Ann Coster was on the other end of the line. A lot of it's building trust. Um, you know, when we first get on the phone, sometimes they don't want to talk to the police. Um, and we have to build that trust, and I have to be able to trust them, and they have to be able to trust me. Um, and that's sometimes a hard thing to overcome on the phone. Coster and her team would eventually convince Pagel to surrender. A 21 year Sheriff's Department veteran, Coster joined the crisis negotiation team six years ago. Sometimes, I mean, you feel like you're making progress, and then it could be 10 seconds later, things completely turn, and they don't want to talk anymore. So um, you just never know until for sure that they come out of the house and you know that everybody's safe. Members of the team approach their jobs somewhat different than their detective counterparts. They're not building a case against a suspect. It's not more of doing an investigation at that point for me. It's more of uh, trying to find out what the crisis is um, that's happening inside that house or wherever the person is at. It's just trying to find out what's going through their head and what kind of brought this whole situation to a head. Um, on the day of the call. The crisis negotiation team is as much a part of the response to hostage and barricaded suspect situations as the SWAT team. If we're going to send any tactical units, we'll send our uh, negotiation team as well. Um, we're always looking for that positive outcome. Ottawa County Sheriff's Department Captain Jake Sparks oversees the team, which goes through specialized training before they're sent out into the field. Learning the psychology involved, uh, a lot of case studies of past instances, what, what has gone well, what has gone poorly, and then uh, work on the different themes and strategies that we use to try to keep people talking because if they are talking with us it probably means they're not doing something else negative or not hurting someone else. Despite their success they haven't had a hostage death during negotiations there are times when talking to the suspect isn't working when the suspect's patience wears thin when time runs out and force is necessary. We have to be able to accept the fact that we've kind of hit uh, as far as we can go with the negotiations and that there's nothing that we're going to say or do that's going to change things. But more often than not, the team succeeds in getting everyone out of the situation safe. Walking away and knowing that everybody is safe, uh, the officers um, that are out there are safe, and that the neighbors and the people involved in the situation um, are okay. Right now, the Ottawa County Sheriff's Department has a five-member team. A six-member will be added and start training next week. In Ottawa County, Joe LaFergie, News 8.